got the roots, he let beats be a bitch And we never switch, even if I'm rich, I'll be broke like a Mitch Niggas talking down, but that's headed in the wrong direction But I knock that shit out, like the boxing section Cause, they can't touch what they can't see All I gotta do is be the same me All I gotta do is keep it cheap, always be the same me Well I'm solid, boy, they can't change me, no What's going on? What's going on, man? We live. We live from the boxing section, man. What's going on? What's going on? What's going down? Finna get everything queued up and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to these comments. Let's get to the comments, man. Get to the comments. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to my dog, DJ. Jalen, Kenlo Jones, Rob Brown. Yes, sir. We here. We here, man. We here. We here. Get to smoke. Dog Scott, what's going on, man? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Best Pugis, what's going down, big dog? OG, PH, big dog, what's going on, man? You already know, man. You already know. That's one of my favorite cartoons of all time. All right, man. Waiting for waiting for the homies to get in here, man. Taylor Bell, what's going on with you, big dog? All right. I'm going to put the link in the chat. You already know what time it is, man. We ain't going to wait too long. I ain't know Fred was going to end that early and shit. I had some, some other shit to handle, if you know what I mean. Uh, but we're going to get everything queued up, though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me call. Let me call this old ass nigga Santos real quick, cause he don't be getting no notification sometimes. Let me call this old ass nigga, man. You got Scoobless. One down, three to go. One down, three to go. Yo, what's going on, man? Hold on. Yeah, I'm good. Let me get this. Oh, this old nigga, he ain't this old ass nigga here. He ain't even he ain't even uh he ain't even queued up. Hey, so listen, we're gonna do a quick, quick synopsis of what y'all thought about the fight, and then we'll get into the fight together as a complete unit. All right, I don't know if Eli's okay. coming up. I got I got some shit. I gotta call Eli. Okay. Man, what's yeah. going on, everybody? What's up, Fuse? What's up, Kyle, man? Yeah, it's going what's up, you know, you know, it's going down, yeah. man. Cooler. In a major way. Hey, Fuse. Yeah. Yo. Yo, uh, yo, area code is 516, right? Yeah. Okay, I got to save this thing. I thought I saved it. I don't know why the hell this phone been tripping lately. Yes, sir. So yeah. Pews, before we before we uh shout out well, to my go ahead. Go ahead. I'll, 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 I'll follow the format of the show. Go ahead, Kyle. My bad, I was trying to give you shout out. So go ahead. So let me ask you this: Do you think it was? Do you think last night was more about Charlo not being himself, or just Castano rising to the occasion? A little bit of both. Uh, both. I think it's a little bit of both. Um. Mm. <clears throat> Yeah, cause I, um, matter of fact, I reached out to who I talked to. Cause I was waiting, I was waiting to hear when we were still on the um call the other night, on me on the show the other night to hear back about that glove gate thing, that little glove thing with the bubble and stuff. So I, I reached out to Kyle actually and told him, he was my manager, my former manager, because I told you Grant on Grand Box and I was my manager, you know. You know the Charlo's fighting Grand Boxing gloves. Those his boat. Those his dudes. You know they've been using his glove most of his career, most of their career. So he told me that uh that dude. He said it was some bullshit. He said that dude, his manager, is the same guy who managed Marcos Maidana. And you remember when Maidana and them had that issue with the gloves when he tried to fight Floyd? Those yeah, that was before the first fight, right? 
you know, this rematch when they had the second glove, they had the glove with no padding in it. Floyd was like, you should, I ain't fighting in these. Well, you know, Grant was there that day. So they had an issue. He had beef with that dude. So he said that was a bunch of bullshit. Anyway. He said he's he known for that shit. So he's like, mm, that wasn't going to affect the fight. He said, be honest with you. He said, I, he said that shit would have been in Vegas. Somebody would have threw his ass out of the, out of the glove room. You know? Mm. Yeah, because um, <laughs> leading up to the fight, you know, I watched a couple of uh, Castaño's fights. And I was like, I noticed that he had Grant gloves on, man. So. I've never mm-hmm. really heard any issues with Grant gloves because, uh-huh. you know, those are the gloves that Floyd use. A lot of a lot of fighters don't like using them because they feel like they have too much pad in them. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. So, uh, so I think it was a little bit of, I think it was a little bit of both, man. Like, um, as you know, we always go to the old ad- adage, "Styles make fights," and um, now, my, 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 now what, what Grant told me was that. He close to he know he close to them, so he know them well. He told me mm-hmm. that uh he said Jamel, he said that the way in Jamel didn't look a little gaudy to him. He didn't normal. He said he think that that 14 week training camp that he did could have affected him. He said he thought that he looked a little drained when he saw him that day. But you know, he knew he was gonna replenish. He knew he was, you know, they're gonna replenish. You know, but they have a limit on how much you can how much you can gain in those fights, in those championship fights like that, you know. And see that's exactly what I was telling Fred, dude. Yeah, they have a limit. You can't, yeah, they have a limit. They have you like you only can gain about nine pounds or so or something like that. One of those big yeah, fights like that. yeah. Yeah, yeah. They don't allow they don't allow you to be doing that fifteen, twenty pound shit. They don't let, allow you to do that. So because to me I did feel. I remember, I remember that was a big issue when uh Triple G and uh Danny Jacobs fought. Yeah, because Danny yeah, Jacobs, yeah. they had that clause in there because Danny mm-hmm. Jacobs was probably going to rehydrate probably another 15, 20, 20 pounds. Of Canelo 20 pounds. was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and he did look a little. Those punches did. His punches didn't look to me to have that full snap that his punches normally had too. And another reason why I think that could be a yo for a fourteen week training camp is excessive. That shit is long. Okay, it's a long camp. So you man. think he overtrained? You think he overtrained I, for this? I left can't. His bitch, it's left possible. His it's possible because it's possible. But I'm looking at the possibilities of what could have happened by how he looked a little bit last night. That could have been it. Like it's possible because um, that's a long camp, man. You only need about a good, I would say, for a big fight like this because it's an important fight, a good eight to ten weeks. You know, should be good enough for you. You know, if you if you in re- if you in remotely some kind of condition, and your weight is not too balloon too high. You know, and I don't know. I I really don't know. I don't really know for him and his brother to be crazy with that extra over the weight shit, like coming down from one hundred and eighty or ninety pounds to get down to their fight with. I never heard that um that um uh scenario with them. Like how I heard, with let's say, <clears throat> excuse me, Errol Spence. Like, I've heard of him getting big in between the fights and having to bust his ass to get down. But I haven't never, never really heard that about either one of the twins like that. You know what I'm saying? So to be training that long for a fight is is quite um, excessive, I think. Even for a fight as important as this was. You know, so it, that could have been impossible because you know we've seen Jamel hits people with shots. They going down, they stay down, and yeah. he, he stunned him, backed him up, but he never was able to get him down. I can't find a fight on YouTube right now, so I don't know. Hold on, I sent it. I, I found it. I already got it queued up. I right, sent it. To title. Um, it just says, "Uh, hold on." Hold on, let me go up here. It says Charlo versus Castaño, full fight. And it's under this, it said the defund show, which is D E D E. Yeah, but it's only 36 minutes, right? So that something gotta be going on. Nah, they, they, I think they, they, they might have just took out the in-between <laughs> round stuff. Yeah, they're not really showing the in-between round stuff because I watched it. They're okay. not showing the in-between round stuff, and they not um they don't got all that extra walking in and all that shit, but they 
Eli, Eli, go ahead and join the panel, Eli. But yeah, I'm so ask you, you know he just yeah. had a newborn baby too, as well. Well, Eli. No, I'm talking about. Uh, oh, talking about Charlo. Oh, Charlo. You know, a lot yeah. of times people have babies, man. They, they, uh, they don't come in the same. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's just a bunch of factors, and uh, also like uh, DJ asked the question, um, it, like also you have to give. Castano, his credit. He's a good fighter. Like we, we, we discussed that. that. We, we discussed that. We yeah, said we it was be that. easy. We, we yeah, we said it. Shit yeah. would be easy because the way yeah. he fought Lara. I, now, I, I, now listen. I will tell you this though. I, I wonder why Jamel Charlo didn't throw one uppercut that whole fight. I don't know what the. That's like one of his best punches. He didn't throw it one time. Yeah. Well, you know, um, big fight. Lot going on, you know. He was trying to, he was trying to, you know, fill him, fill him out early in the fight. He stunned him with the hook, with the counter hook. The change in levels and and, and the herky jerky, the craftiness of him, mm -hmm. it kept him, it kept him thinking, it kept him off balance. Yeah, and then um, yeah, and they and they both got off big shots early in the fight. Mm -hmm. You know, him in the second round with the counter hook when he staggered him, and then him getting staggered. Um, with that uh, count them two hooks, and that's that hook that put him on the ropes, and that's actually something that I wanted to, because I heard DJ on the um on um Fred show talking about that, and I, and, and it made me because I was thinking about that round. You can lose a round like that, no matter because he wasn't done. Neither one of them had done much in that round, and then when you said that, I had been thinking about that. He hadn't done. They neither one of them had done much. So what I did. Just to be sure in my mind, I went and rewatched that third round. He lost that mm -hmm. round because he didn't they didn't do he wasn't doing enough. Neither one of them wasn't doing enough until <clears throat> Castano land that shot. Mm. So yeah, that would have been enough for him to lose that round because nobody had really won that round yet until that point. And then okay. you also have and then you also have to remember that's that's that stuff you hear about flurrying and finishing the round big. That's always mm -hmm. gonna have the last yeah. impression on the judge's mind anyway. Okay, that's, that, and that's what I saw. That was one of my questions because this, this is the thing about it, right? Um, I think he got more credit for doing them late flurries than, than anything else. Dequan, salute to my brother. Best usually, if you recall, when we was watching the fight, that was my big thing. I kept saying. He's only fighting for a minute, a minute and 30, 30 seconds out of the fight. You mm -hmm. know, so I just have to see. But as he continued his pressure, I was like, he's winning this fight because he's he's also dictating dictating the pace, pace of the fight and displaying ring generals. Most definitely. Most definitely. And that was the big thing. But then all of a sudden, you know, with those swing rounds, when we was looking at that early, I was like, well, Charlo could have got a few of those rounds early. And then all of a sudden, late, Charlo turned it on in the championship rounds. I'm up off my feet like, oh, shit. He finna do mm -hmm. it. He finna, he finna turn it around. And then when it came to it, when Derrick James told him he needed that knockout, that shit was true. But he didn't yeah. get the knockout, but he fought to a draw. So I wasn't mm -hmm. mad with the draw. But if anybody had to win, I was not going to lie and sit up me, here and say that Charlo won. So so yeah. me, me watching that fight, dog, this is what I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. uh, with all bites, mm -hmm. I think that uh, Castano did the same thing he did with Lara. I uh, think so too. Lara be, winning the, Lara be winning the whole round, and then he'll do something at the end of the round. I think that we need to we need to take we need to take out the fighters because mm -hmm. I think that because we think so highly of Jamel Charlo that mm -hmm. that we are taken away from the fight. I think we need to just just act like these two fighters are just fighters. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna try to you know y'all know me. I'm gonna try to take my bias out of this this time. Um, for this, for the, for the sake of the show, you dig what I'm saying? But we are gonna go through it, and uh, we gonna we gonna figure everything out. What's up? What's so check it though. No smoke. You just say this. Uh, check it though. Up? What's up, guys? Uh, what's up, boxing? Um, you know, hey, what's up, brother? Um, what's going on, bro? Yeah, what, what's up, panel? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah, man. So I, I, I'm not even that big a Mel Charlo fan. So there's no bias in there for me. I saw the same. Um, Really, the same Castano you know, that I've come become accustomed to. The guy presses, and then um, you know he gets you on the ropes, and he does his work on the ropes. 
Uh, yes, I mean, that's pretty much the fight. But as, as long as the fight wasn't on the ropes, because Stallion wasn't doing shit. So, like, you, you know, they, I'm not quite sure, but somebody's got a real bad echo. I'm not sure who that is, but. Yeah, so we, all, we all got to mute our mics, I'm guessing. Yeah, um, so no, I was just, I was just saying, um, you know, the, the fight, as long as the fight was in the center of the ring, it was just fine. And not every time it went to the ropes did, did Charlo get the worst of that work either. So, like, what I saw was real tough um, to uh, to score because, like, a lot of people, especially a lot of people, like, online or, like, you know, you just a lot of boxing fans, they may not be used to, like, really the reality of scoring a fight or, like, maybe they think it's all about pressure and who's bringing the fight or something like that. But you have to be effective with your aggression. And if you almost get knocked out two and three times because you're aggressive, that's not necessarily effective aggression, like in a judge's mind, right? Like if you if you were getting slipped and turned around and popped and hurt and all that shit, like while you're pressing forward the whole time, you may not be winning rounds with that kind of pressure, right? So like, like Charlo's jab was working pretty well. I just saw like really competitive and hard fought rounds that could have gone a, a lot, like when you have so swing many rounds that could have been swing rounds, it, it like what, what's the argument either way? Like if Charlo, I, I don't think 117 is out of the question for Charlo because you could give him all of those swing rounds and that would make sense. But also you could give him to uh, Castagno and that also would make sense. I think, you know, the, I think a reasonable, uh, I think the, re the result was reasonable. Um, I, you know, and also when you get close fights like that, I think robbery is always a misnomer. Like you don't need to call close fights that don't go the way that you scored it a robbery. Yeah, that, that, was, that wasn't a robbery, I dog. Because I agree. I think I agree with that. I agree too. Man, that was that was spot on. So what we but what we gonna do though? What's up, Rob Brown? My bad. I ain't gonna skip over you. Rob, what's going on, big dog? What's going on, bro? Slow Rob. Uh, what are we doing? We all giving our opinion of the fight or what? No, yeah, we see, watching wait, the fight. Wait. We're gonna, uh, so listen, after after Rob gives his input on the show, we're gonna cue this stuff up and we're gonna we're gonna get rocking and rolling, man. We ain't we ain't gonna uh wait too much longer. So go ahead, big Rob. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Uh I I thought that the fight was a draw, man. I mean, I'm I'm not a I'm not upset with the draw, you know. I had it where I gave the first two rounds to Charlo and I gave nine, ten, eleven, and twelve to Charlo. That's six rounds. So that's the draw, you know. Um I felt like Charlo was landing the hardest shots. He hurt Castano more in the fight. You know, I felt like he controlled the fight like somebody else said in the center of the ring until he voluntarily went to the ropes. It didn't seem to me that Castano really pushed him to the ropes. He went to the ropes. And you know, I heard some about injuries. I don't know. I wouldn't, you know, I don't know anything about that, but it seemed to me like he was also waiting kind of to try to counter and land that perfect shot. You know what I'm saying? Because his last few fights, he's landed, you know, those highlight real type knockouts. So um, I thought he kind of was waiting for those type shots. Costano was like doing those late furies at, you know, flurries at the end of the round. You know what I'm saying? Um, but if you watch Costano fight, which I'm sure most people have, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Costano, a Charlo uh, affected Costano too, man. He didn't, he didn't just rush in there and fight like he normally fight. You know what I'm saying? He, he respected Charlo's power. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I want to see it again. I think it, you know, I don't think we should be yelling no robbery and this, that, and other. I know people get all up in arms about what one judge had, but, you know, judges judges see things different ways, man. And some judges don't respect that late flurry stuff. So uh I just I want to see the rematch, you know what I'm saying? I I scored it a draw though. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, Let me just say this real quick, Kyle, and then we can get started. You bring up the point about the Lauer fight though, but there is one major difference you're missing, bro. Lauer was never hurt the way Charlo was hurt in that fight. Charlo almost went down. Them ropes kept his ass from going down when he got hit with that hook, man. Charlo was never hurt like that in that fight. I, I, I that think whole fight. I, I think you're over. I, I think you're. I, I think you may be seeing something that didn't really happen. I didn't see the ropes holding him up. I don't think he was that I hurt. I did, and I know exactly what it is. He's being there that, in, the, in that ring. I saw that shit clear as day. No, he kind of. And I ain't the only person. And I'm not the only person who saw that either. No, I know. Them I, 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 I heard. Matter of fact, I'm a. We about to watch the fight now. I'm gonna yeah, show yeah. you exactly when it happens. 
Yeah, 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 definitely. And um, and I'm saying I agree that you're not the only person that say said this. I'm just saying, yeah, I, I think he was just dipping down when he got hit. <laughs> yeah, he got hurt. That's why. Uh, no, I, no. Well, no. I'm just saying I, he was dipping. I'm I'm saying he was dipping down before the punch landed, and so it, it was just a, it was a it was that second angry, shot. That right? second shot really hurt him. That's the reason why. Because people keep asking the question, why wasn't he doing this? Why wasn't he doing that? Why? Because he felt those guys' punches. I know what that shit is like when you in there. When somebody hitting you and they strong, it's different. And people wonder why. Why you ain't punching now? Because that because that guy hit with some shit y'all y'all don't understand. That's why. From the outside. That's why he wasn't punching like he normally do. Because he ain't no dummy. He is a very smart boxer, too, that he don't get credit for. He ain't no dummy. He know how to box. And he knew I got to be cautious in there. This guy's better than y'all think. Mm -hmm. Oh well, definitely. Like the way that people are talking about Castagna, the amount of people who thought he was just going to knock Castagna out. I never thought he was going to knock Castagna out. I thought going into the fight that he'd get at least one judge to say it was a draw. Yeah, he's a good fighter, man. I didn't yeah, think he knocked knock him out either. I just, you know, going into that fight, I felt like, you know, I've said it before. I felt like that kid did not know how to lose, and yep. Charlo was going to have to beat that into him. That's he was right. gonna have to beat him over a twelve round period because this kept this kid did not know how to lose, and he was gonna yeah, keep coming forward until Charlo did something to gain his respect. But uh, to quote my man Eli Castaño, made Charlo put his hands in his pockets for rounds four through eight last night because yeah. he kept counting. that was my biggest takeaway from the fight. He kept countering that jab that Charlo was throwing out there. See, I don't think he listened to everything that Derrick James was saying last night by any means, but I think he was listening to him when he was telling him to throw that jab. And I would think he got frustrated because he was like, Coach, I'm throwing the jab, but he's countering me every time I throw it. So <laughs> it's, 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 that it's was my biggest takeaway from the fight. So it was two, it was two things because I, cause I, I saw that too. It was that Charlo usually shoots the jab, but he was pushing the jab. Like all night, he was pushing the jab, and also he was lazy with bringing when he when he threw the right hand, he was lazy with bringing it back too. So he like leave it out there. So he, every time Castagna was even waiting for him to throw the right hand, so he could jump on it because he knew there was nothing coming back after that right hand was coming. It was it was, it was a real weird thing where I don't just, I don't I didn't like the Castagno that I saw. That was the Castagno that I'm used to seeing. But that's not necessarily the Charlotte I'm used to seeing. And part of it, I think, has to do with Castagno's pressure and his chin and, and how hard he punches. But part of it was just like uh, there's something that just – it just wasn't Charlo's night. Like that wasn't his A performance, right? It just wasn't clicking for him like that last night from what I saw. He didn't even have his normal head movement. No, nah, he didn't have a head moving out. But hey, you can we start it up? Because I'm gonna have to get out here and make a run. Yeah, let's start it. Hey, man, hey, 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 damn All that right. run, Eli. Damn that run. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go get started. Run. Uh, All right, so we we watching we watching this one on uh Defund show or whatever. Yeah, yeah. we watching it right now. Okay, right. okay, okay. Let me go ahead and cue it up. God damn it, DJ. That's man, good. I'm right. I'm right here, man. I'm right here on the <laughs> line. Damn road, man. Oh man, come on, dog. They okay. Yeah. Uh, what's Defund show? Is there a link somewhere? Where am I? What am I missing? It, it's so on YouTube. Yeah, it's just on YouTube, YouTube. man. Is there a link in the chat or something? Yeah, put the link in the chat, uh, Best Fugilist. Oh, shit. I can't, I don't, man, how can I put that hold link on, in the chat? I'm on my phone. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm going uh, to do it right now. I'm going to, uh. Just type in uh, Castaño versus Charlo. It'll be the, yeah, be the second, second one video. that pops up, man. Yeah. You'll see it's 36 minutes long. They took out all the mm -hmm. corner stuff, all the in-between yeah. round stuff. You know? So it's just the fight itself. You know, are I like. Pause, I like are we pausing between rounds or what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Before we get started, how did everybody? How did everybody score the fight? Well, you remember what rounds you gave who? Or I had, I, I had pretty much like you, uh, 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 like you had. I think I had, I had first and second. I damn sure had ten through eleven to Charlo, and then I think I had one of the middle rounds, like five or six. I had one of those rounds to Charlo too, which okay. for me, See, made, I had I had problem. one through three for Charlo, and I had <laughs> nine through twelve for Charlo. But the middle <laughs> rounds four through eight, middle rounds four through eight, I gave Castillo. Reg, Reg, man, it's these other niggas, Reg. We, we coming, man. We coming, yeah, man. yeah. I thought uh, I thought that uh, Charlo won it. Uh, I thought Charlo nicked it, but I thought I had six swing rounds, so whatever. It could have gone either oh. way. 
Yeah, all, right. all right, y'all. I we, just, gotta get, we gonna start the fight now. All right, we got it. We got it. Everybody got it. <laughs> we got it. Yeah, we got up, it. man. Everybody queued up. Smoke. Yep. Yes, yeah. sir. All right. Okay. One. Let me, let me matter of fact, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we do that, let me let me get this down. Now, if you late uh, on this, if you if you if you late after this, bro, uh, you got to just speed it up. But we're gonna do this right here, so everybody can do it. We can do it at the same time. Damn, that's a long ass countdown. Oh, right, shit. I got a bitch. Rapper. I got a fucking commercial. Oh man! Told you gotta get. Told you gotta get that premium, man. All uh, right, we good. We good. We, we starting. We all at. We all at. We all at in the, in the, in the fight. I'm start. Uh, I'm. I'm. We waiting for them to come to the uh, come on start. Uh, I'm, yeah. They showing Charlo Castanio names right now. Yeah, right, I'm at. Uh, I'm at 17 okay, seconds. The bill just wrong. 27, 28. Yeah, okay, they about to come out. They about to come out the corner, my man. They squared yeah. up on mine. They I'm 24. I'm at 24, 25. 34. 37, 38. All right, fuck it. Yeah, I'm at 20, yeah. All right, See, Jamel, he not even moving his head or nothing, man. No, he didn't move his head or nothing. I thought that was something that he was working on with Guzman in the training camp. You know, I think Derrick James not being there, too, man, kind of fucked him off, too. Not being where? In the training camp like that, man. You know, he got to No, he, got he came to Dallas. He was here with, he was here with Errol and, and, and Derrick. He came to Dallas. He got too many fighters. But man. not for the full camp, though. No, no, no. Yeah, it wasn't a full camp, brother. I put a full camp. I mean, he came out working the jab after they got uh, past about 30 seconds in the round. His jab is more effective right now. You see Castaño really more measuring, putting something in his face. Giving him looks, change, uh, getting off the line here and there. Yeah, you see how he's what I'm saying. He's even right now still pushing it. He ain't stepping into it, right? No, nah, he's not throwing. Uh, yeah, all not of a sudden he just yeah, he ain't really trying. Yeah, he ain't really trying yeah. to break his nose with it like he should uh -uh. be. Yeah, he yeah. yeah. It, it's not it's not popping. It's more it's more so he's trying to find his range right now with the jab, yeah, man. He, trying to work his way yes, in. Yes, because Castillo's uh, pressuring him right now. He's trying to find out where his range is. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Range finder. And Castanio and Castanio knowing he's the shorter fighters, just throwing punches, yeah. trying to work himself in. See, after Castanio threw them first few floors, Jamal got out on him, and Jamal hit him with that hook a couple times. But it's the end of the rounds. The at midway through the rounds, Castanio just turns it up. Forty-five seconds left in the opening round, what they just call, and I don't count it like. Two good shots, two shots, decent shots that landed from Castaño, but now Castaño yeah. started putting his foot on the gas. But mm -hmm. I I seen Jamil hit him with about hit him with about Ooh, five right or six cross jabs. Yeah, mm -hmm. Jamil hit him with about five yeah. or six jabs, and then hit him yeah. with hit, hit him with a couple hooks coming in too. That's a fact. <laughs> He's still controlling him with the jab right now. Guard up, caught the punch. Nice check hook on the yeah, left. See, Reggie, that's the same thing I saw, man. He just collecting data, trying to find his range. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that's Jamel around. The check hook, that, that little left check hook was working. Why didn't he go back to that? So that first round, that first round, I, I, I gave to Jamel. For sure. Oh, jab, left hook. Yes, sir. See, that was a good combination yeah. right there. Okay, I think y'all a little bit behind me because that's what I, I see. Just the call. rounds just ended on mine. Now we start okay, round, round two. Round two already, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. Yeah, I'm already in round okay. two. I'm in round two. Okay, I'm at three fifty four. 
Yeah. Uh, right, so okay, yeah. See, I'm like 10 seconds behind y'all. Let me speed up a little bit. I, I'm at 355. Okay. I just went there. 357. I'm a little bit behind. All right, now I'm at 357. I sped up a little bit. All right. I'm, I'm at, at four minutes. Goddamn commercial <laughs> came on. Yeah, yeah. And one <laughs> child of. Boy, y'all wild with the commercial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. What are you talking about? Commercial? We good. Oh, Charlo just blasted him with a with a with a straight yeah, right. Yeah, that okay. one. Who did you that first round to? Charlo. That's Charlo. Charlo, round, Charlo, yeah. Charlo hit him with another yeah, straight right. That Charlo. First round. Yeah, uh, rain generalship, clean, uh, clean effective, clean hard punching, and uh, defense. Mm -hmm. Charlo. So how did they give Castano this first round? Then I don't know. Charlo no, with the right. right. He's not even hitting Charlo. He's missing a lot. No, no, Charlo with exactly. straight right. See that Charles oh, down a little mm. bit. See, that's what he heard him. That's what he no, heard him. No, no, that okay, now, now here you go punching no, on Charlo. He teed off on Charlo. He, he teed Charlo hit him and hurt him, backed him up across the ring, working on him, punching on him. Charlo, woo! Giving Charlo him that work Charlo right now. Of the crowd no, on their feet. Charlo yeah, lit him Charlo, off the hook. He came Charlo back Charlo toward Charlo. Him. Charlo. Off of him. Yeah, he lit him off. He should have brought that overhand right down a little bit. Yeah, he should have went to the body. Hey, I don't think his conditioning was up, dude, because I've never seen him just pull off like that. He could have been, but what I said, that long that long training camp, he could have yeah. been overtrained. He could have mm -hmm. been overtrained. Yeah, does he look fucking, he don't even look the same. Yeah, that's, because that's what it could have been. Like, it, it could have been overtrained. But I told you, that's what my, my that's what, that's what my, uh, my ex-manager told me. He said, when he saw him at the weigh-in, when he you burned the gloves to bone. him, when he burned the gloves to them, to him, he was like, he looked a little gaunt to him, but he said, he, "You know, he figured, you know, he gonna uh, he gonna um, where you guys replenish, at? replenish, and um, but maybe it affected him a little bit. He not even throwing a jab hard. What is where, where, where you going? Castano is at, is actually backing up right now and backing up against the ropes. He should have really mm -hmm. attacked Castano right now and really yeah, made him why you had him on the back foot, That's made him stay back there, made him stay uncomfortable." But he throwing that good, he was throwing a good little chopping right hand. But then he starts backing up again, giving Char giving Castano room. He, he had Castano on the back foot and backed up into the corner. See, that was a perfect time to throw that uppercut. Every time uh Castano oh, leaned into the right, up, man. The round just ended. Oh, my mind. What was going on? Yep, yep. yep. I don't say no fucking uppercut. Come on. Uh, you know, see, I'm like 10 seconds behind y'all, man. Where y'all at now? Where you at? Where you at? I'm at 636. Yeah. Round three just started. Round three. Round three started. Round three started. I'm 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 I'm, I'm right with y'all. All right, now this is this is one of them swing rounds, man, that yeah. I gave to Tilo. Jamil just standing in front of it, him, gave it to for when he hurt him. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it was because yeah. it was pretty much even. It was pretty much an even round until then. Both of those you know, definitely Jamil to so start with. They didn't do too much. Salute to Mark Nash, Tino Great, J. A. Dixon, P. Good, God Almighty. Shout out to y'all for staying up with us, man. Taylor Bell, you as well, bro. The jab definitely popping right now. Reggie, of course, always in here showing love. Mm. Oh, he good, popped good that jab that time. Yeah, and, and, and hit him with the straight right. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. Yes, it, it's, sit in the ring. It's just where the fight happens. Sit in the ring, yeah. Charlo. Charlo's fight yeah. as long as it's there. Final 60 seconds, it just got called out, and now he starts fighting. <laughs> You're a little ahead of me then. Hey, y'all got a y'all got a time thing on yours? No, did you hear the you hear the uh the, the announcer call it he says final sixty seconds. Okay. Oh, I got my sound up. I got my music. sound up. Yeah. yeah, my sound's off, man. I got sound on the last Keep mm -hmm. your, uh, hey, keep your, yeah, I got you. Eli, let us know what's going I on. I got you. Charlo still controlling him with the jab right now. He got caught. Charlo, right, Charlo, but Charlo not really hitting him with the with shit, though. That shit's not really landing. But, but he's blocking. Damn thing. Daniel's blocking a lot of that. Most of that shit with his gloves, man. He is blocking a lot of with the gloves. He just blocked him with the hook. He just got it. He just got it. Too. One two, good one two by Charlo. Man. Okay, I think this way. Why is he backing up though? Woo! Oh, you had him. Damn, he oh, not even. Oh like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's it too. I think I must went down, man. Yeah, but that's just this last ten. That's just twelve seconds. Yeah, that's why this round round, man. I think I think Charlo was over there. 
Oh, oh, I I that, that, so he he didn't that. back to it. We, we can't all we can't all talk at once. Uh, 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 best teachers, you, you, you really coach. What's going on that round? What did you think after re looking at it? I must say, y'all pause it. I still feel the same way. Like they wasn't, he wasn't dominant. He wasn't winning that round like that. Nor was Castano. Neither one of them until Castano landed that shot. And the ropes did not hold him up though. Uh, best. That's it, did. I don't no, know it did, bro. Yes, it bro, did. He watched it. He just oh, no, bro, the ropes held him up. No, hell, he held him up. up. Hell no. He buckled, man. He buckled. I don't say the uh, he buckled. He buckled. He bent. He bounced. He bounced back. That wasn't a buckle. He was. That was just his natural. Wait till we. Buckle, wait till we, wait till we get a better another another copy mm-hmm. when they showing like the, the Showtime version, and they and you see that replay. He went up on them ropes. He. I, I don't think the ropes held him up, but I think he buckled. Uh, I, I do think buckled he buckled. That he went up on those ropes. Mm-hmm. Castanio, dude, is missing. Castanio out. coming on this round. Oh. This the fourth round. Mm-hmm. Castanio coming on right now. Yeah. Yeah. That last round, yeah. Last yeah. round could have been a time round. Where y'all at? Time stamp. Where y'all at? Uh, let's see. At 949. Oh, you right. behind? Mm-hmm. How the fuck you get behind like that? I'm at 10. 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 Okay. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right along with you. Y'all niggas are speeding up and fast forwarding and shit. Hell no, nah, nah, you getting buffering and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, had one, yeah. I had one fucking commercial, nigga, that set me back a hundred years. I'm gonna I'm get this premium, man. I'm gonna get this premium. Man, he just counted. He just he just hit. Um, he said he he, he, he right right countering because Kano well, pretty good. How y'all gonna say that this man won this fourth round, dude? Mm, good right hook. Because Kano is the more active, the more solid puncher right now. But he dude, is bro, getting counted. He getting hit with some shit, bro. Bro, you keep watching this shit. He getting hit with shit, but yeah, this, it's this going right. back and forth. This going back and forth. Yeah, see, 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 Charlo's not really landing. He's just trying to throw stuff to keep Kastanio exactly. off of him. To keep him off of him. He's not, he's exactly not really he's throwing stuff to land. He's just trying to get some space. And Char- uh, right. Castano smothering but, all his punches, man. Man, Castano missing. Yeah, because after Castano, right to the body. He got more confidence. Right hook to the body by Castano. Yeah, you can Castano see more meaningful Castano, punches came Castano from Castano's Castano closing the distance. Castano you can see Castano closing the distance there. Like, yeah, yeah, he, he closed the distance. He closed it when he was there. I also see Charlo trying to walk him on to something. Carlo just trying to keep him off him to set him up. No, he's trying to counter him. Look, he's trying to counter him. Walk him on to something. Yeah, he's trying to set him up for something big. But, but you know, he want to land that hook again. But he the, the is, is, he is hard blasting hard him a little bit though. Right? He is shooting that straight right at him. He is hitting him with that straight yeah. right. He's trying to get some big off. Yeah. See, he got Charlo react, reacting to all his feints and everything, man. Everything. So, everything. he got Charlo See, reacting. You, you to know everything, what I didn't man, understand? So. Why Charlo didn't? Re- That's the end of the round for me. Yeah. All right. So I'm in round five now. Fine. Okay, they yeah, coming I'm out round five. Right, right now, I, mean. hey, I don't understand why Charlo didn't reset him, didn't grab him, and and, 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 bro, and tie him up when he got no flurries, and reset him because his jab was working better. And we just then when I watched him, when I watched him get Castanio off of, when he pushed Castanio back, he got him off of. Him. He didn't yeah. even turn him. He, he wasn't even turning him. Yeah, his mother the little. No, he didn't turn him or nothing. Exactly. All you got to do is smother that dude when you're getting close next fight. Yeah, let's count him because he threw this fight, dude. If you recall right, uh, best fusion. When I was talking about the keys to victory for uh for uh Charlo, I was saying he was it, it, him getting out the side out, out the side door and turning him. I was like, or even yeah, uh, even uh wrestling turning him because his hips are slow on the turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did he, say that, and he didn't do none of that. He ain't turning nigga nothing. He just going to the fucking mm-hmm. ropes on his own. And why is he going to ropes on his fucking own? And, and right now, and yeah. right now, Castano staying out of his way. And he's being effective with it. He's being a lot, you know, he's he, he, hooking off the jab, all that. He just hit him with a left and a right hook. Now they fight. Now they fight. Fuck. Yeah. Good day defense. Now they're fighting for real estate. Hey, fucking, yeah. I got a fucking commercial. Bitch. Char- Charlo shot a nice little left yeah, and right hook on the table. That was a good jab right there. Charlo just landed. And I'm behind Johnny. Right mm-hmm. right 1324, 1325. I'm, I'm way behind Johnny. Yeah, 1325, 1326. Yeah, that's what I'm Yeah, at. I'm at I'm at 1325 yeah. myself. Yeah. We right with each other. Yeah. Why are you I'm a little ahead of you. Hey, 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 so hey, 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 h
They're both kind of dry, though, really. They're both kind of dry, really. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah, but, but I don't see what people were saying. How there's nobody's dominating these fucking rounds, bro. They, they, they they not. Nobody's dominating these rounds, dude. That's what I said. They That's not. what I said. I got like a half dozen swing rounds. Like, whatever, man. Like, they're not. You, you're right. Uh, this round right here is just but you crazy. know what happens, though, in these middle rounds here when Castano did. But he did his stuff was a little bit, just a little bit more flashier. Chris, between yeah. four and eight, he was, just, and he was just busier to me. Yeah, he was just busy, but but I got yeah, that round right now. Busy don't really yeah. mean shit though. If you're not mm-hmm. doing that with the business, man. Hey, this if you make right the other fighter put his hands in his pockets, it do mean everything. That's right. But mean, the and and he 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 if he's just jabbing him and controlling him, and spinning him out. Hey, this round right now, I got it for Charlo because he's That's in more control. Right now, I just saw something. I just saw something. I just saw something. He was opening up on Charlo, and Charlo rolled under some shots and was right there at his body and, and didn't came let his back hands behind. go. And yep. came back up and didn't let his yep. hands go. He, I mean, he was he playing the punches called Charlo with a little hook and back him up again. Charlo, Charlo just hit him with a little short, uh, little short up cut. Now he just yeah, right at the end of the round, he threw a flurry. That's the yeah, end of the round. Yeah, but, yeah, but also you see deep to D- Charles defense because them shits was not landing. <laughs> He's really, hey, really my shit, no, my car so far is right. I had one, two, mm-hmm. and five for Charlo. That last round five mm-hmm. I had for Charlo. You uh, gotta uh, give him three. five. You gotta give him five. I, I, gave, give him five. I gave Charlo one and two, but then hey, hey, some hey, round three on. Hey, can, hey, can mm-hmm. y'all pause? Hey, can y'all pause our shit though? Because I'm behind y'all niggas. Fifteen twenty-seven. I'm at fifteen twenty-six, bro. Yeah, I'm at fifteen oh six. So let me catch up to y'all niggas, man, because uh, my shit fucked up. Yeah, I had yeah, one and two for Charlo, man, still, but but the other rounds, the other rounds you had, you had Castano coming. He closed the distance. He was he was coming with pressure. It was even if he wasn't landing all the shots, he had closed the distance. It was foot pressure. He, it's, it's like he made Charlo uncomfortable being that close to him, and he couldn't do anything. Hey, about I'm at a, it. hey, 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 I'm at five thirty six. Where y'all at? Okay, well, okay, where where is it? For, okay, you say he, he played. Jeez, five thirty. Okay, five thirty six. Five thirty six. I'm at yeah, five thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. Fifteen, man. Fifteen forty two. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. 15, 37, 38. I'm at six. Hey, well, I'm yeah, at six. Are y'all watching this round, though? Because Stano is circling on the outside. He's not putting yeah, pressure now. on right now. Hey, That's hey, the hey, thing hey, around, hey, though. Where y'all at in the fight? I got Charlo against the ropes. He opening up. They fighting. They both fighting. 15, 50. I'm at 15, 50. Nigga, I just asked Charlo. Y'all motherfuckers, man. Charlo just hit him with a nice straight right. Yeah. Charlo moving. He moving. Stepping around him. They were just trading a little bit. I don't... I... They... I'm seeing this fight different right now. Charlo winning more, more getting off more than what I thought he'd had. Y'all motherfuckers, y'all, y'all tripping, man. Had, I'm trying to tell you, I had seven, five, Charlo, six, fuck, mm-hmm. swing rounds. So <laughs> I don't understand what niggas was watching, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. bro I'm, 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 he is, he is, he's jabbing the fuck out this dude. He ain't jabbing as hard as he normally do. See, it's the thing though. We're we're not thinking about look off the jab. One two. Charlo fighting a guy. We're not thinking about. Two boxes. We thinking about what no, Charlo normally does. It was just the that's what we looked at. Now, because Jab didn't really have. Hey, Kyle, jab, be real with yourself, man. Them, jab them is not effective, Kyle. You keep saying that Jab. Landing, oh, you're opening up on Charlo right now. Them Jab right. ain't effective. But Charlo, he's getting a good shit with his right hand, though. That right hand. Yeah, Charlo. Bro, this thing Jab ain't landing. Them shit's not effective, man. Bro, it ain't just the Jab. It ain't just the Jab. It ain't just the Jab. It's the jab, and then he following with the straight right. That right and hand, he is hitting right. him with a little bit of that check hook. Yeah, yeah, right hand is and he's controlling yeah. distance. That's yeah. not where. That's not where Castanio wants to fight from. No, he's controlling distance. Hey. From this. this is ring generalship. This is also yeah. when he gets in close. He's doing showing defense. He's showing Castanio you. Castanio turning right up here. at the end of the round. Yeah, yeah that, that can't win a motherfucker around. Bro, I this fucking seconds, man. I say that six round, bro. That was Charlo again, fam. Mm-hmm. Y'all niggas tripping, bro. What? I don't see y'all seeing, bro. Because okay. Daniel, he fighting his ass off, bro. But he ain't doing what everybody said the nigga was doing, bro. Bro, you don't think that sixth round was Charlo again? No, I'm talking about Castano. I'm not talking about Charlo, man. No, no, no. I'm he's talking, last, I'm talking, I'm talking about our other brothers out here. What, what's oh, no, I thought, Yeah, I thought sixth round was Charlo. But, like, mm-hmm. again, if you're talking oh. about pressure and all that stuff, like, Maybe you could give it to Castano. Like I said, you could call that a frame. He wasn't, but he but wasn't pushing, think... though. He was circling around the outside of the ring, and That's then he put his foot on the gas at, at, at moments. Hey, I, I'm, with, I'm with you. I gave it to Charlo. I'm just saying, 
I, I, I could see how because he fighting, he fighting, he fighting, he fighting, listen, he fighting like every couple ten. Charles Skelly scared to, to step to his jab for real, man, for a reason. It's the reason why he ain't fighting the way he yeah. normally fight. I don't know why he's right. right. For y'all to understand, there go right there. Hold it's, on. Right. Why. It's, it's not no, about right. I understand this, that's this, what I'm saying. This, yeah. this is not this is not, this is not his normal way of fighting, but it's because of that guy that's in front of him. And, and, and judges and, and judges use that. They look at that's how right. you normally fight, and and Castaño is fighting how he normally fights. But Charlo yeah, exactly, he's fighting the exact same see, way. Let's yeah, see, this is why fight. judging. This is there, why bro. judging is so hard, though. This is why judging is so hard because you're supposed to be judging based on what you're seeing now, not that's, what you expected what or what you're used to. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. that's why it's hard. Fuck how y'all normally see how now right now. Now right now, this is how I feel Jamel. Now I feel that's Jamel that's doing better this round. Oh shit, he, he was just now. This it's just his, moments. It's just spurts for Castanio. This is his. Jamel fucking is looking at his shit fucking. and hitting him with. Hey, girl, getting all these fucking ass like I am, dog. I'm getting a bunch of fucking ass tonight. No, you no, don't because I got fucking premium, ass. Kyle. Man, you don't want to get all the ass. I'm gonna have to get. I ain't getting no ass. I'm gonna have to get the premium, man. Dirty son of a bitch. <laughs> Shit, bro. All right, where are niggas at? Where, where are niggas right. at? Play. 1930. Okay. All right, wait for me, man. Pause y'all. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Um, I'm at 1910. You better fast so. forward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little ahead of y'all because I'm on. I'm at. I'm at 20. So. Hey, uh, pause that for me real quick. I'm at 22. I'm at 20. Yeah, I'm at 20. I'm at 20 right now myself. Yeah, yeah. Play, uh, play, play. We good. We good. That's a nice body shot from Charlie. Yeah. Oh, and a nice shit. cap. And is hey. all that defense. Eddie came back with a three point with a three piece. What I didn't like yeah, about Carlo is when he got in the corner and, or, or on the yeah, rope, yeah. He, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't grab and turn. He didn't hold it. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. Now, now the final right punching off. off on him. Yeah, the final punching off on him now. now but Charlo still popping the jab, came back and slipped some little. Hit him so big. big. And people were asking, he flurried. He flurried at the end Ooh, of the round. Yeah. Now. People was like, oh, why he wasn't going to yeah. his body? Because if him going Carlos to his body, hit him he was going to expose him. Oh, nice left hook from Castagno. I mean, right with hook. A, with yeah. with yeah, nice right hook. hook. He just missed, he just yeah. missed five same rounds. Combination. Castagno went to the body. That was his up, combination. That left hook right out. straight. That's, that's how he tried to break the ball. That's nice work from Castagno right there. Right there. Some more nice work from Castagno. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was his combination. Left hook to the body or left hook to the head right straight. End of the rounds, he got good combinations, but bro, yeah. this fight looked different from when I was drinking and sitting back and laughing with Charlo, <laughs> looking at the chat and coming back. Bro, Charlo yeah. did not fight as bad as I thought he fought. He could have did yeah. more. Oh, man, oh, I don't, he's going to a big round. This is a good yeah. round. There you, go. there, there you go. That's what I'm saying. There you go. This, this is a swing round right here, though. Yeah, I got this. Bro. I got this swing round for sure. Y'all know, you know what I mean? Yeah, that, I, that, that, that bro. I, I scored one and two for Charlo. I scored six. Uh, I, I scored five and six right for hand. Charlo, he just, nailed, too. he just nailed Charlo with a counter over the top. Shit. They, they yes, catch sir. me. This is a swing round, and the seventh round was a swing joint. This is this is after uh this is after Derrick James told him he was down. This is after Derrick James told him he was down the first time. Oh, so nice. Give, uh, Oh, oh, he just caught oh, Charlo with a big oh, motherfucking oh, right hook. Oh, oh, he just caught Charlo with oh, a big Charlo, right hook. He got him to the belly yeah. though, right twice. D nice. He was I doing. He was. Uh, that's another thing he was doing good. He was digging in Charlo's body a lot. Yeah, he got a body way better than Charlo. Oh, oh yeah, that's a nice. He's close because he's close to that body. That's a part of his. Charlo doing a lot of nice right in Charlo's spot. Charlo just shot him. Charlo, Charlo just. Charlo trying to take his head off. Straight jab, too. He doing too much. He doing. He doing too much head hunting though. That's the problem. Ooh, good overhead right. That's really what it is. Overhead right, my guy. Charlo, Charlo, fired into a body shot, landed too. He slipped that. He slipped the hook and came under under the bottom with a hook. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. He waiting on and him if he would have hit him with that left hook, he would have knocked his fucking head off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah the reason nice why man. Charlo is not tying him up on the inside is because he's trying to turn and punch him. And like, like man, just like fight and reset. He, the, the middle of the ring is your friend. He not he not turning him enough at all. He not turning he not, him enough. Not, not enough. No. There you yeah. go. And there not getting back to the middle of the ring enough. We all at we, we, what's oh, your time? nice fucking counter to the body by Charlo though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. What's our timestamp? 
Uh, 23, 23, 12, 23, 13, man, 23, Y'all got to be about 30 seconds, man. We right here with each other. Yeah. Man, your shit buffering like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the commercials, the commercials <laughs> messing them up, too. The commercials fucking them up tonight. Okay, that was a good straight right man, because Stanio stepped back for a second, but then he right oh, back on the man. You know what would have been good? If if, uh, if if Charlo knew how to do this, if this was a part of his style, would have helped him with them body shots more? If he knew Charlo how to do shoot, if he knew how to, if he knew how to shoot Sean, because he don't really know how to do that shit. That's not a part of his style. That would have helped him a great deal because he could have set up some shots off of that. Yeah, and, and he don't do that. He could have stoppage too. If he didn't yeah, have yeah. The, Charlo's don't do that at all. But I, uh, yeah, what's they don't he, do uh, that. he does a great uh, Benavidez. Yeah, Russell, Benavidez shoot yeah. shot great. That would have been good again if he knew how to do that. Like that was part of his style. That'd have helped him a great deal too. He he just yeah, keeps right, popping his jab, popping his jab. Yeah, Charlo just keep pushing the shots, He's leaving them out there. Like, how come he ain't snapping and shit? That's just anyway, whatever. But I, I but, but I'm but I'm gonna say this: yeah. the more I'm watching this, the more I'm watching this now, he don't look as strong as he normally do, though. No, yeah, because he's he not don't. he's not getting Castanio off of him, man. He'll stop him. He'll stop he him in the tracks for a minute from coming forward, but he ain't keeping him off of him. Because he don't got it's, a, it's, a, like it's not he, it's not just his strength. Like he normally has. has he, he, you know, he, he has the energy about him that I don't see tonight, too. It's not just his strength pushing him off. Like, the energy to make certain steps in, like, that energy don't look like it's fully there. That's what I'm noticing, too, because he normally have more energy. Yep, yep. All right, so yeah, I, 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 he's, 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 round, though. he's not one of his – he's just not on tonight. You know, some nights yeah. you don't have it. Yeah, yeah. Tonight. I, I don't feel that he's he just on, but I, I don't see him losing like I, like, like I yeah. thought. I don't see it like I thought it was. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Mm-hmm. He just wasn't Ooh, on Charlo's <laughs> level. He wasn't on his own level. And, yeah, and that's, that's what we're going off of. And that's what people are judging mm-hmm. off of. They're judging off of Charlo. Yeah, I, it's Charlo yeah. versus Charlo. It's not Charlo versus Castaño. We're doing mm-hmm. Charlo versus Charlo when we score. Left hook he just buckled yeah, Castaño with the left, left hook. hook. He just buckled Castaño with the left hook. He buckled, he buckled him twice in, the, in this round. I get because I gave I gave him nine. I'm opening up on him on the ropes, but he trying to um. Fuck man, y'all piece of dog shit, bitch. Did it again? Fucking ad, man. Mm-hmm. So we of, all agreed on one and two going to Charlo, right? Another good overhand. Man, hey, originally I had originally I had that book, that first round like even, but now I think I'm a, I gave that first one to Charlo. Looking at it again, okay, yeah. that's what I, I thought. The first so time, but when first I first round. watched it, I first mm-hmm. watched it. I had it the even round. Hey y'all, mm-hmm. I'm at I'm at 2506, brother. All right, hold on. I'm at 2618. <laughs> so right, now so I'm, I'm at 26. We gave that one to Charlo, 20. and we gave five. We, five. Five. What did we do on five? Because we know three and four were were Castanio rounds. He I stole. He, five to Charlo, and I thought I, I gave seven. no. I gave five to uh, Castanio. Only gave only round so far. Only round so far. The only round so far I've given to Charlo is one and two. Until yeah. we get to round nine, you they get three and five. Not even at six round. Oh, he oh he caught Charlo in. Mm-hmm. He caught he caught Charlo. Charlo buckled him in this round earlier. Mm-hmm. He doing a lot of his shit. He doing oh, a lot of his another good right. Another good on right now. Right, 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 bro. He yeah, just hit him with that left. He's starting to take oh, this round from I, Charlo yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah overhand yeah. right. Yeah, that creeping right over that left hand, man. Are you guys starting round ten? I'm no, at I'm, running. I'm, I'm at, at, at 26.55. I'm at 20. I'm in 27. 10. Okay, me too. All right, cool. Now he pop. Now he popping a jab. Now, now he popping. Yeah, he, now he popping a jab a little this bit. This round yeah. 10 just started. It, yeah, he 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 took that ninth round damn damn short. Now this is this this. But I had I had one two and I had six uh uh, uh for Charlo too. And but but uh Best Pugilist said now nah, he felt more like seven was going for Charlo. I had I gave him seven, but I gave uh I gave uh Castano eight. Either way, if we if we flop it or switch it, that's still three rounds. And then it's these back three that we had saw. This fight is different. Watch and rewatch. Oh, oh, he in trouble. He got him. I'm gonna have I'm oh Charlo got him rocked right now. He moving away. Yeah, this around this around yeah, that man, Charlo. He was that's how I think Charlo might have been a little weak, man, because when he outmaneuvered him, he didn't have the energy to continue that flurry, man. Yeah. 
This is why Mo said he won. Because normally, normally he would keep he would he would be able to keep sustaining that. He wasn't able to sustain it. He's he's keeping him at bay with the jab. Yeah, he's stepping around he's like. But normally, if somebody hurt like this, he's been oh, nice bounce off the ropes. Oh, yeah. come on, child. <laughs> so that was a good straight right hand right there. Yeah. Now he got him again. That gets some act right. Come on, that's how, that's how you get back to the center ring. This is a good fucking oh, fight. Oh, Kasanya moving good though. He he he, oh, he moving left oh, and right. He's moving. And they just try to caught him with a fucking left hook. Kasanya moving um. He moving right. good ladder. Yeah, he got him. This is what he got on his he, bicycle. Hey, he gonna, but yeah, he moving good. We man. looking at that right. shit. Charlo did good not to punch himself out just then. Yeah, yeah. Good he fucking oh, him up. Oh, 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 Castillo yeah. did real good by not getting um. Foot. Yeah, we're, now, where y'all at? Where y'all at? So I can speed up. Where y'all at? I'm at twenty nine fifteen, twenty sixteen, yeah. Charlo yeah, just yeah, Charlo over here right, 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 right now. Hey, bro. niggas, niggas, time stamp, time stamp. I'm at 29, 29, 29, 30. 29, 30. 29, 30. Yeah. Right. I'm at 29, 30. Woo! Get us, man. He just no. Charlo oh, again. Oh, he is running this whole. Now nah, he's trying to come back to Charlo. He thinks Charlo a little windy. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, right. he tried to. Oh, Charlo hit his ass again. With Ooh, him. Another Ooh. good one, too. Another Ooh. good one, too. Man. Oh. Oh, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> man, get bro. the robbery. Ooh, ooh, got ooh. Robbery? Oh, hell no. Nah. Fuck out This is not a robbery. Nah, but, yeah. <laughs> but, um, Castano, but even though Castano was staggered, he, he moved around good, man. He was clear minded at the end of that shit. He wasn't all staggering around like Muhammad Ali against Joe Frazier in the first fucking fight. He was moving good. Oh, he, was, he, was, he was conscious about his movement. He was doing that lateral movement left and right, man. He had good range generalship while he was in trouble, man. EG was going he on. He was staggering around unconscious. I know he knew exactly what he was doing. And Charlo couldn't catch his ass. Couldn't cut the ring off the stop hey. from doing it. He didn't really. Hey, y'all heard, heard me say my. Me y'all heard me say my rounds. My rounds are one, two. I had five for Charlo. It could have been a swing mm-hmm. round, but I gave it to Charlo. I had I gave six to Charlo, and now I just gave ten to Charlo. I, I, I listen. You I, know, I don't I, think I don't think nine through twelve was an argument with us, but. Yeah, you know, because I gave I like I said, like I said uh, before my, uh, last night, I gave Charlo yeah. nine through twelve. Yeah, I didn't give him nine through twelve. I, I gave I gave Castano nine. And you, you gave Castano one nine? even. You gave yeah. it nine. You gave him nine. Yeah, I gave Castano nine. I gave nine. I gave him eight. I gave him I gave Castano eight for sure. That was his round for sure. Now Man. I swapped three. I swapped three with five. I gave uh like last night. I gave Charlo three. But going back at it now, uh, listening to Puge and watching yeah. it now, they really yeah. didn't do anything, and uh, Castillo yeah. had more significant action in that fight yeah. in that in the round. Mm-hmm. I but I did swap three with five, so mm-hmm. I still got it pretty much the same way I did last hey. night. Seven five for Charlo. That's hey, what I'm I, looking at. That's what I just hey, realized. We I shit Tuesday to five. Hey, we're gonna watch this shit on Tuesday, bro. We gotta do mm-hmm. this shit again, man. This we shit. gotta do this shit again, and we gotta it write it another. Night. It should it be another version of by then too. It should be another version of by then too. Yeah. I mean, everybody got the Showtime app. We can watch it on Showtime, man. Mm-hmm. I, I got it. I got it. Already. They might copyright it, but you may be able to. Uh, no, yeah, I got Showtime. Yeah, I got Showtime. Yeah, we we watch well, I, got time. Uh, I mean, we can all just say, yeah, we can. What, what size TV? Be on, you know what? You know what? I gotta ask niggas. What size TV is y'all watching this shit on? Uh, me fifty. Uh, hey, hey, five. I, I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to y'all right now. Around eleven, though. Castanio kind of turning up in round eleven a little bit, bro. Remember yeah. he hurt him in eleven, though. Yeah. Man, he remember he was still hurt. He was still hurt, man. So it's just muscle memory at this point. It's just yeah, but he get, he, get, he, get, he getting off a little hurt. bit in eleven, fam. Yeah, hey, he going, going for it. Is anybody is anybody watching this on a seventy five or better? They going for his nigga. No, I don't want no movie screen in my living room. <laughs> that's, what I'm watching. that's what I'm watching the fight on right now. I, I'm seeing every punch being thrown, every connection. good job. They just traded with you. Good job. And, and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. This That's is a good. good fight. I'm gonna say, oh, yeah, Charlo, Charlo working fight. that jab though. Yeah, hey, and man, he started out the round early, working kind of one leg in a little bit, man. You motherfucking chump. Yeah, bitch. That's probably why you lagging? Yeah, that's exactly why you. Yeah, lagging. I'm in the twelfth. Huh? I'm, 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 I'm at the twelfth now. Fuck, hey, this, man, this hey, fight. this eleven round might be a swing round, bro. Yeah, yeah. Shit, look what's happening at the end of this shit. Fuck somebody. Oh, and it, it might be. 
Because if they traded Big Oh, no, 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 fuck no. Charlo banging his ass up and bashed him all the way across the ring. That bitch is not going to be the stuff. Charlo bashed his ass up all the way across the ring. Uh-uh. At the end of the round. Give yeah. me a fucking break, man. That's, that's yeah, a and he hit him with the, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, at the end nah, of that. That eleven is Charlo's too. Ooh, we that eleven is Charlo's too. No, that eleven is Charlo. Who he back to all across the league? Y'all get at y'all get at that one. You got your fucking mind. Uh, no, I said I'm starting to think that I got this fight mm -hmm. seven five Charlo right now, bro. Mm -hmm. I know it was some rounds that were tight, nip and tuck in, in, in between five and five and six, bro. But I, I had Charlo with more control in, in in those rounds. And even if I don't do it right now, <laughs> just talking to y'all, you had it five DJ mm -hmm. and and uh, uh, round five there. And then uh, 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 Best Fuge gave him seven. So we give him one, two, five, or one, two, and seven. And then he get these last these last uh, 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 three rounds. That draw is not a robbery at all. Either way it go. Yeah. I, no, I, I never, said, I never robbery, felt like it was a robbery. Yeah, I never yeah, felt, I never felt like it was a robbery. Anytime a fight like is that close and he nah, can go close. either way. It was close, and it could have went. Anytime a fight is that close, I, I, I honestly way, bro, I almost feel like Charlo could have won this fight, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's man, what I'm shout saying. out to the brother P. Good man. That's a damn good suggestion, bro. It, that's what you I got to read that in the comment. <laughs> that, I, I felt like if anybody got robbed, it was Charlo. That's what I felt like. But both dudes are champs. <laughs> both dudes are champs. So you can say that neither guy really beat the other dude. So that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I've been saying this whole time. But I got it for I got it 15 14 Charlo. That's how close that yeah. shit is. That's how close it is. This is a close fucking fight. This shit not no robbery, bro. This is nah, a close fight. Not a robbery, man. Nah, when they fight not close like that, that, it's not a robbery, man. I can ar arguably say that it's never a robbery can, when it's that close. Yeah. And that fucking I can arguably say that, that Charlo won. Oh man, now hey. it's just, it's, it's, I don't know why I want to hook with the hooker though, man. He was just trying to knock oh. the dude out. That's the, un yeah. the only thing. Like, if this dude is stopping, he, yeah. he only threw one uppercut. He only threw one uppercut, and he not even throwing it with me. Bitch, now he's throwing some shit with some Yeah, his shot selection's off. Uh -huh. his, his, Charlo his... making a miss and hitting him, banging him. They they Ooh, trade Charlo, keep today. on going. He, 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 he done stop punching. Okay. Charlo still punching. Ooh, uh -huh. dude, one time. Oh, and popping with another jab. And See, now he's starting to stick that jab out there. Right. Uh, people were saying how Charlo didn't look confident. I was so busy talking shit, going back and forth with everybody. Bro, say this fight, I, I, I'm mm -hmm. starting to believe that this fight was a seven-five Charlo fight, bro. Y'all niggas shit. I'm not mad. Where the fuck was the robbery at? This because yeah. nigga missed hell of a I ain't shit, never bro. agree with none of that robbery shit. Because when a fight is close, it's never a robbery, man. A, ro a, a, a he, robbery would be just if a fight is like nine again. again. Ooh, and from, and from fighting like nine, nine to three, Castaño's that's a robbery. And that's that fight was not that if, if you get knocked no. around because you're aggressive, they, how is that effective aggression, mm -hmm. bro? He chopping Castanio ass up, his hand shot up before Castanio. I, I, so mine hey. just mine just ended, man. That's yeah, I man, still got it to draw. some good shit. Yeah, I'm cool still got it to draw. What you say, shit, bro? bro? What you say, Rob Brown? Go ahead, I Rob still got it to draw. I got one and two for Charlo. Rounds three through eight went to Castanio, oh, and then yeah. nine, ten, eleven, and twelve went to Charlo. In my opinion, it was some yeah. nipple took rounds. I'm not you. mad at them. I got ball. one, two, five, and nine through twelve for Charlo. I, and I the reason you. why I say that, the reason why I say that is, you know, Reggie, you may get feel the fuck like out well, of here, man. You got his, his fucking mind, dude. Reggie, get the fuck out of here, bro. Ain't no fucking way. It's seven two. Uh, Castanio, get the fuck no, out. I don't think none of us on the panel have it like that. I think all of us on the panel either agree with the draw or, or just it was swing. Well, it was 115, 113. It was 7 5 yeah. or draw. Yeah. I just scored it for re scoring it, bro. I just scored it for Charlo. I ain't gonna even lie. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna even lie, bro. I, had I, had one two, five, time, but I wouldn't have been mad. I wouldn't have been mad if they gave it to Castanio. Yeah, I, 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 it's, I, I'm good with this draw, bro. That, that draw was a damn good decision. Yeah, they got to That draw was a damn good decision, bro. That, that, Too bad. Yeah, I don't it think they was, it was live, Yeah, that was a livable something that you could absolutely live with. That wasn't no. There was not no robbery. A robbery would be a, like I said, a nine to three shit or something like that. So that's a that's a robbery. 
That was it wasn't a, like that. That was, was a closer great than fucking, that. that. That wasn't yeah, a good bro. Great fucking fight. Hey, closer than that. hey, P hey. Good with a great idea. Shout out to P Good, man. This motherfucker has some of the best ideas in boxing. He needs to get into this shit for real. Uh, they should put Charlo versus Castano yeah. in the uh, the other nigga that's the other mandatory on the undercard for pay per view. Yeah, uh, 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 Tim like Zoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be yeah, even like better idea earlier. Good job. Good. Thank you, Mister. Yeah, he had a good better good. idea earlier. I think DJ seen it, but oh yeah, I saw it. <laughs> that was a great idea. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to P. Good. Shout out to Hustler Slim. Kendrick is the GOAT. Shout out to y'all, man. Hey, so I Gentlemen. do. Hey, I do. I need to find a ring girl. And then every time a round's about to come, I'm going to just make her the solo screen and have her walk through. Bang. I think we're going to. I'm going to try to figure out. You know what I'm saying? Try to find one of them, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, <coughs> who said that shit anyway? I think it was. Who said that? I think it was. Uh, P. Good. P. Good. That motherfucker's a genius, man. He's a fucking genius. P. Good, you're a fucking genius out here tonight, man. You're a fucking genius. All right, fellas. Um, another fight I really want to watch with y'all, man. Is that Triple G Canelo one, bro? I really want to go back and rewatch that with y'all. We I need. Do I do too. This, this fucking fight was so good. We gotta watch it again, bro. God damn, bro. This is close, bro. bro. That was a damn, damn, damn good fight, man. But it's, just, it's to be expected, though. You know, um, we saw what we we seen what Castano was capable of in in that fight against Lara. That was we a good knew, precursor to this fight. Yeah, so we knew what he's capable of, and and as I said last last week when we was talking about it, yeah. he's gonna fight the way he fight. He ain't gonna come in there little doing nothing different. That's the only way he can fight. He can't do nothing different. He ain't gonna be suddenly leave dancing around the ring. His for him to win a fight, he got to fight like he fought that night. Only have a chance to win it. Who? Hey, I'm tired of hearing that robbery talk. That shit bullshit, bro. Yeah, that's how. Nah, man. That's how. Nah, that's that's not. I never. I never that, that didn't go across my mind like in a robbery. It, 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 the it, first it, fight it, it, that could have been a draw, which it ended up being, or either or either side depended, but no, no way it was no robbery. On yeah, either yeah, side. It wasn't it was, a draw was good, bro. Because yeah, like you said, depending on what the referee liked, it could have yeah. went either way. If they liked the sharpness and and, and and boxing of of, of Charlo. Or if they like the sharp punching and pressure of Castano, it could have went either way. I, I'm yeah. I'm good with that draw, bro, not, because that was gonna, a damn I'm good fight. And, 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 and they also need to lay off the judge because, like you said, depending yeah. on what you like, that could have been a 117 Charlo fight. Yeah, that's what I had it last night. Rewatching mm -hmm. that fight, bro. Say, I I honestly had Charlo winning, and it wasn't because I was looking for Charlo to win. I was just looking at. What I thought I was seeing hey, last night, I hey, saw that and I saw more. Hey, hey, real quick, man. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rob Brown, oh man, appreciate you, big dog. Appreciate you, man. Listen, man. Uh oh. hey, hey, Rob Brown. Rob. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> hey, you listen, you 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 throw uh you throw a little uh you throw a little mustard. Uh, you you throw a little mustard on this. Uh, you throw a little mustard in the catch one more time. I'm making a banner. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got you. I got you. No hey, hey, y'all. Hey, support the channel, man. We 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 give y'all some great content, man. Uh, support the channel so I can uh you know keep doing shit that we're doing, man. I'm keep doing these uh documentaries, keep doing these interviews and shit like that, going different places, man. So um yeah, man. Support the channel, man. Support the channel. I ain't buying no hookers and prostitutes with your money. I ain't buying no crack or no drugs with your money. So uh yeah man support the channel man support the damn channel but that shit was good man but hey, that, was good that fight was just as good the second time if not better shit. Bro, that was a good ass fucking fight bro that was a good fucking fight dog I'm that not was, indeed indeed fellas indeed man, fuck that right now we just gotta hope and play like I said we can get the rematch now it's a couple of factors um like I said because of the the, the situation with the Sanctioning bodies and stuff like that, so that's going to play a big factor as to if we get this fight now, sooner I a, than later. I thought, uh, yeah, I thought that IBF said, uh, mandatory is due. That IBF mandatory has been, I think, he's taken step aside money twice now. That I'll yeah. be from the east, yeah, 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 yeah. so. Yeah. Uh, but, but you know what, I would like to see them featured all together, man, to tell you the truth. Put put uh if if you can't do it right now, 
then put uh, Charlo against, uh, I think it's Mateo or whatever his name is, and then put um, let Castano get his mandatory. If, if Zoo has got it or, you know, who knows? Yeah, it's Tim Zoo. It's Tim Zoo. I don't want to see that, but it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let me, but that'll, let me that'll set up, up a big fight. Let me pull it up. Let me see. Right, well, yeah, man. I hope the numbers that like listen. I generally you, you can. It, wow, but yeah, that's that's tough when you already have a mandatory. He's taking step aside money, but yeah, he already took step aside money yeah, once. But, the, or but twice. The, like you said, like just if he did it twice, don't mean he won't do it thrice, right? It's about like hopefully that they did the numbers that they needed to do to make the uh, immediate rematch because I think the business right. was dropping. Hey, hey I'm you, this this is gonna be one of them coke. Uh, a coat like class. I need to get my pistol out your car. <laughs> okay, you Wait, might. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> my bad, bro. That's crazy. Hey, hey, I really hey, got hey, that. Hey, I had put my headphones up. <laughs> man, that's, I done had to do it before too because my wife nah. worked at a government facility and they searched their cars coming in. I was like, hold on, let me get that, me get that iron out your car, baby. Hold on. <laughs> hey, 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 listen, though, fellas. Uh, this shit was exciting, man. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, niggas, man. I, mm-hmm. I enjoyed this shit here. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I, I ain't leaving just yet, man. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, so we gotta, <laughs> so we just gotta hope for those two things one of the fans and the body, and, and, and that Jamel gets more into it. Maybe once he get a little time away from it and can watch the fight, he'll feel a little different because at that press conference and after in the, in the ring after the fight, he didn't seem too enthused about no no rematch with him. But I thought he said he was trying to get all the belts. I thought he was trying to get all the see what he said at the end of the press he, conference, though? He said, he said, uh, minute clip, he was like, man, I'll knock him out in a rematch. He, he was well, talking okay. in. I mean, that's so, what I'm saying. At the further he get away from the fight, that's the further the, he get away, the more the more he about feeling like he wanted to do it, cause right yeah. after that shit, he was he was sounding like Apollo Creed after the first, after the end of the first Rocky. It will be no rematch. Yeah. It will be no rematch. Yeah. No, no rematch. No. The only thing they got for the duel for, for man. Two? Who they got Fundora ranked number two in the WBA, bro. Yeah, Damn. but that, he ain't got that, that'll be the regular. The regular will take care of that. They, he ain't got to really worry about that yet. But uh, right. what I'm hoping for, man, is that the IBF, which they normally do, upholds that rule they have, and it's in their rules that <laughs> when it comes to a unification. That can trump a mandatory, and so I don't, I don't know if you know two times or one time the guy stepping aside, but they will allow that. So I just I hope that that's what they do, um, so we can get it sooner than later. Yeah. As, 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 as a boxing fan and as boxers, niggas should just want that shit, man. Yeah, yeah Tim, Tim Zhu rank. He's uh he's Castaño's mandatory. He's ranked number three in the IBF, and I think he's ranked number three in the WBC as well. So that's a good yeah, fight. He, he's 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 gonna want to he's gonna want a shot, man. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. Hey, listen, that is a good fight. I think Tim Zhu gets knocked. And see, I think Tim Zhu about to get hurt, but mm-hmm. you know, yeah, I, I want to see it. I'm not mad at it. But the chances I, are though. If they make that fight, they probably gonna have to go to Australia. Hey, what's that nigga? That, might, the last that night? might not be the best thing. That might not be the best thing for Castano, man. I, I, know, I think I think Zoo will come here. Castano is a champ, you know what I'm saying? So I hey. think mm-hmm. uh, Zoo is talking about leaving Australia too, um, how, how because he, he realizes that he ain't got no name nowhere else. You know? Hey, yeah. how how do you spell that shit? Too. Yeah. What? How do you spell that shit? T Z U Z Y U. Yeah, that's it. Z Y U. I got. I found the name. I, I found some motherfucker. Honestly, I'd rather Zoo take on like a Harrison or a Hurd or you can prove yourself, man. You you can't fight. He just fought a blown up 140 pounder, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like did. fight somebody yeah, for real, bro. Yeah, <laughs> he should yeah. have to fight somebody like uh Lubin or or somebody before exactly. he gets that shot. What about exactly. Sergio Garcia? Uh, 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 Sergio Garcia. I mean, uh, uh, Tim Zoo. Tim Zoo ain't gonna get past no damn, uh, no Alex Lubin. Give that boy nah, a show. That, but yeah, 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 course, not, but but, yeah that's why so, with the that I mean, that's why the WBO was created to give like you know the Pacific Islanders just the affirmative action belt. Like you mm-hmm. got to give those guys a shot at the title. Exactly. 
Well, he beat Jeff, he beat Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn, yeah, he beat Jeff Horn. He beat Dennis Hogan. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't know who the hell this dude, Steve. Spark. Jeff, Horn, Jeff Horn is the biggest name on his on his resume. Steve Spark was his last fight, and this nigga ain't. Yeah, he was Jeff gonna Horn fight Hurd. If, if Hurd hadn't have lost that fight to Arias, uh, he would have fought Hurd next. They was negotiating that. Wait, wait, that's, that's, that's what I wanted. That's so what y'all I wanted think Hurd coming back down to uh one fifty four? Y'all think he won't stay at sixty? Oh, he looked like he looked horrible. That fool looked like he needs to go to uh, sparring lessons. Like he needs to figure out <laughs> how, to, how to move his head, how to not get hit with the over right hand over and over and over again. Like stop using your chin for defense, man. Just like stop doing that. You're not gonna win. You got to make adjustments in order to win fights at this point. Like he's not he's not swift anymore. He's like he's lost a step. Yeah, I mean, there was. I was. I will say that the like the um the rain played like I, I think a part because he was tearing dude up and he was getting a lot of uh the guy was getting a lot of chance to recuperate when he was putting it on him. But at the same time, that dude built a house inside it upside uh Jared Hurd's head. He just like he couldn't get out of the way to overhand right. Well, he's always been he kind of relatively easy to hit. You know, even at his best, he was relatively easy to hit. And it just got progressively worse. So yeah, that's gonna be a tough he, thing, man. Didn't that's he gonna go be a to tough thing? K, to hey, but didn't he go to Coach K for defense? Supposedly, but her her need to stop having fat camps, man. He was at two eighteen and, and got all the way down to one fifty eight, bro. He he yeah, got to stop down. blowing yeah. up like that. That's just that a ain't fat gonna help camp either. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, a fat man. camp. That's not working yeah, on any technique. Yeah, that's hey, Jalen, I saw that too, and uh, I don't think that's official. I just think they're working on that fight right now. That uh, Fondura versus Sergio Garcia. Uh, no. last time I saw no, it wasn't official, yeah. but they still it's working set, on it. They got a date, it's set, it's set now, yeah, it's set. Yeah, oh, yeah that's bad. And, and, you, and you know, the problem I was getting, I was mixing up Sergio Garcia with Sergio Martinez. You remember Sergio Martinez? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I, I just did the same thing. I just did yeah, the that's what I was right mixing now. up. Martinez <laughs> is fighting somebody else, but Garcia's on. Yeah. That fight's on. All right. I just yeah. did oh, okay. Thing. Cool, cool, cool. When When is the date? When is the date? I'm going to check that out. So, so I uh, think it's August 7th at the Armory, if I ain't mistaken. It may be August is it on the, uh, oh, oh, okay. Okay. And what is it? The Armory? No, I'll, I'll be watching. I'll be watching Derek Lewis that night. I'll be watching oh, Derek Lewis that night. So. Hey, yeah. Danny Garcia and Eric Saluba is supposed to be a fight that's supposed to be trying to be made. Danny and Erickson? Yeah. Oh. So it's like, because he can't get to Charlotte right now because of the undisputed shit. So I think that's what they're going to do. I think, because I think, I think they're going to do that. I think Charlotte's going to have an immediate rematch because it's, a, it's undisputed. Nobody can get in the way of undisputed, I don't think. But so Eric Saluba is supposed to fight Danny Garcia. And then, uh, um, and I guess whatever is whatever. That's that's what. Hey, uh, hey, pal, have you heard anything about Ennis and uh, Clayton fighting on September 11th with uh, Stephen Fulton? So, so listen, um, I'm gonna probably pull a fucking stunt that I probably can't pull, um, but I'm probably gonna pull it anyway, even though I shouldn't pull it. Um, that's why we need these. That's why we need these damn uh, cash apps, though. So I gotta pay for. I'm about to try to uh, get out to Philly uh, this week. Mm-hmm. So when I go to Philly, I will link up with him. What day are you trying to go? So I'm trying to go for. I'm probably gonna try to get there Friday, Saturday, okay. Sunday, and then come back, come back Sunday, whatever like that. Okay. That'll be a tight card, man, on the 11th, if that's true, bro. Have Ennis and Fulton together on the same card. That'll be nice. It, yeah, it, man. That is that's true. what I heard, though. I don't know how true it is, but I haven't been able to confirm it, but that's that's something I heard. A little rumor floated up. So. Brandon Figueroa is in trouble, dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. yeah. he's going to get cut up. He gonna get yeah, bruised MJ up, dude, cut up. Hey, they said the MJ dude supposed to be fighting soon. Um, I forgot when. Yeah, he fighting uh, Ronnie Rios. Um, I don't know why August fourteenth keep popping in my mind. It's, I think Eddie Hearn is yeah. trying his hardest to to lay out some stuff um, on the zone. So he's he's got that fight coming. I, I, um, I Brandon, don't get me wrong though. He's a uh, he's a good dude, but you know, I, I think he'll make it dirty. He's gonna uh, he, he, like Steven's gonna have to beat him, but um, yeah, I think Steven's gonna be able to. 
Is Rigo and Casamaro? Yeah, that's another one. That's another great one. Yeah. I got to see what Rigo got left. If Rigo got something left in the tank, I think he knocks the monster the fuck out. I don't think he'll be able to get hit. Man, Charlo to get lucky with no fucking draw, Red. You fucking crazy, man. Nah, nah. <laughs> I have to rewatch it and and prove it to myself, but no, nah, not at all, bro. That wasn't no, that wasn't no luck. That wasn't no robbery. Nah, that shit was real, man. Uh, Charlo fought his ass off. Well, better than I thought he fought. He didn't show everything that I knew of Charlo, or either Castano just came on that good. I'm not gonna take credit from Castano, but mm-hmm. yeah, that was a good fight, bro. I I, I want to see it again. Yeah, Charlo. I think I don't think for some reason I don't think Charlo was was at his best. Cause I'm more I'm looking at him, thinking about what um my ex manager told me about that. I think that might have affected him that long ass training camp like that. The fourteen yeah, weeks is a long time. That's a long time to be in camp, man. And um because cause a couple of times, like I said, when he was when he was flirting on him with them shots that he normally get people out of there with, he had like he had to recoup, like he had to let his his muscles yeah. recoup like when normally he would have the energy to push through. Yeah. You know? And he just wasn't quite himself. Down. And you can see that he wasn't quite himself because even at the end of the fight, if normally, if he thought, the reason why I thought he had doubts because the reason why how he behaved at the end of the fight because he was he was happy with that draw. Like, okay, shit, at least they, at least they ain't take it from me. Whereas like when he lost that fight to Harrison, the first fight, which I did not think he lost, he was wilding out. Like, get the fuck out of here. He was not acting like that. So it was something definitely different about that fight Saturday night than that fight with Harrison. So a part of him somewhere, he felt like either he, I'm not necessarily saying he felt he lost, but he definitely felt like he didn't do as good as he he felt he's capable of. Yeah, I he, think he, a, yeah, I think he was trying to knock him out, and he was upset he didn't get the knockout one. But then the other thing was Derek James was over there telling me he needs a knockout and all that stuff, right? So, like, like even then, it, it like Mel uh, Mo was in there saying, "You got this. It's easy. You heard him too many times." He's like, "You sure? Mm-hmm. Like, you, you know what I mean?" Like, it, mm-hmm. it, yeah, well, he was a little unsure because I think he thought he knew he was in a tough fight. He got rocked a few times, got stunned a couple yeah. of times. He knew he was in a tough fight, so but I guess he thought he was boxing boxing good enough in his mind which can happen when you're in a fight when you're in the heat of the battle thinking you might doing good enough to be winning and cruelly because like you notice you kept hearing him say when he talked about the fight I rocked him in a way that Lyra didn't rock him that uh, Teixeira didn't rock him so sometimes a fighter will fixate on the fact that they did something the other fighter didn't do you understand what I'm saying? Like, even though he may not be, he not necessarily been dominating the fight. Like in his mind, he'll create it, but he said, "Well, shit, I stunned him. Now I would never stun him. Yeah. Tech Sheva never stunned him. So how could I be losing a fight? And those could only be the only two times in the fight that you did that shit, or three times in the fight that you really did that. But in your mind, you'll blow that shit up more. Well, I did what those guys didn't do. So how could I be losing? So fighters would do that shit." Mm-hmm. Hey, I do that. I got a quick question for y'all, man. It's off topic. It's all. It's off topic. So I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm. I'm we doing the uh, Space Jam party for my son. Now, would it? Would I be out of bounds if I got a LeBron James jersey and got my son his son jersey? I'm trying to figure that out. What do y'all think? Because I, I, I am light skinned. <laughs> you stupid son. I mean, what I you want to do? Yeah, do what you want to do, man. Yeah. That can't be your mind. Do what you want to do. Listen, I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do. Listen, listen. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do. I just want to draw a pen on it. You know what I'm saying? I just want to do it. Yeah, wrong with that, bro. Yeah, I want to do what you want to do. Right, so he brought it. He brought it. He brought a chip to the state, but he still, like, talks a lot of trash about the town. Um... Yeah, I mean, there, there is that. LeBron, I don't know how that works in Oakland, like LeBron jerseys, but, you know, yeah, do what you got to do. Yeah, I might, I, might get, I might get the dang little, you know what I'm saying, joint. Who knows? That might work. He's from Oakland. 
That might work better. Yeah, no, we because uh, we're gonna do a sweat jam party, man. We're gonna we gonna, we gonna, we gonna have some fun. But see, my son, he liked the first one a whole lot better though. He already he ain't really he's stuck on cars right now. That's his that's his shit right now. He he's stuck on cars right now. I can't get him to watch nothing else right now. Just, oh, Lightning McQueen. Yeah, yeah, he's stuck on that shit. I was trying to get better better that better that than that damn uh my uh my eighteen month old daughter. She's stuck on damn Coco Melon, man. Who? Oh, the <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it fucks the YouTube shit heavy. Yeah. Daddy finger, daddy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Yeah. <laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> you know that shit heavy. My, yeah, I think that's more of a, a girl thing. My daughter's on that shit heavy. My son, I really ain't really fucking with. Her. Now, see, my yeah. oldest daughter, man, she like a daddy, bro. She on anime right now. She into. You know, My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball, De- uh, Demon Slayer, all that type of stuff. So, yeah, we watch anime together. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I ain't got no little ones except for my little nephews. They come over with the Pepper Pig and, I, and, and Ninja Turtles and all of that. Mm-hmm. Hey, am I the only one ready for uh for this Earl Spence fight, man? I'm going to be in the building. I'm ready, bro. Who gonna I'm be definitely ready after this right now. Who gonna be in the building with me though? I'm I'm gonna be there too. Too. I got a, I got a money thing situation brewing. If it if it pop correctly, I'm, I'm gonna make that move. Now I got a question for y'all. Um, do y'all think he should go with Blu-ray? Without question. Yeah. That motherfucker Blue Ray made that nigga. He made Errol Spence do seven hundred push ups for a warm up. God mm-hmm. damn. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah exactly. What are you talking about? She go with Blue Ray. You talking about um Charlo? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I think they always in spectacular condition. They, I think they always in great shape. I just think he overtrained because if you think, think about he it, he really did. He really did go through two training camps. He did go through yeah. training camp with his brother too. Yeah. So. Yeah. He went through two training camps, man. So I think he did overtrain, like Pugh said, man. I didn't think about that until yeah, uh, um, you said that's it. That's kind of possible. Because if you had a 14, that 14 week camp getting prepared for one fight, that is a long damn time, man. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, he, he, you know he, he was like, man, it's the fight of my life. I got to get it. Yeah. Back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Very uh, intense. And he was very, normally a very intense dude. So, you know, they work hard. hard. I've always seen them to work hard. So, but I'm, yeah, I think that could have had a little bit of a play. I'm gonna tell you all this though. I'm gonna tell you all this though. It was the Wilder Juju. You know what I'm saying anytime somebody talks about it, <laughs> not that water, it's fucking horrible. I, I'm just kidding. listen. I'm just listen. I'm, I, I know it's probably superstitious. I know. I know it's conspiracy. Whatever. Nah, but, but I can't. I almost. I can't really agree with you on that shit because what's the name? Didn't look fucked up. He fucked. Cool. He, he he whipped. What's the name? Um, Chris Colbert. Uh, Chris Colbert Chris, Chris, almost yeah, Chris, Chris, Colbert. Colbert. Chris Colbert whipped that boy ass, man. That shit he almost no got contact. dropped twice, though. He that didn't look like no, he was fucking up. him up. He yeah, didn't look fucking him up. You just couldn't get him out of there. Hands on him. You couldn't get him out of there because what's the name is tough. That's no, a, he also put good tough. hands on him. Not only was he tough, but that's yeah, how he can't go back. He a tough dude, man. That guy's a silver medalist, man. He ain't no fucking bum. No, he didn't look good, though. He didn't look good, though. But no stretch of the imagination, it. He ain't, he, ain't, he ain't no he ain't no easy touch. No, he, he's not. He didn't look good. He, he's also not a, a one thirty pounder, and you know he yeah. also really prepared for that fight. Like he's you know, yeah. no, he's so, a good fighter, so nah, he's prepared. He ain't look bad, but you know, the fact that he like the, the fact that Chris Colbert said that that's the hardest he's ever been hit. That's mm-hmm. not good. Nah, that's that's not, necess- that's not necessarily the case, man. Like I gotta always re- have to always reiterate that shit, man. When it comes to I was a fighter. That shit don't mean shit. People think Roberto Duran was the lightweight champion from 1972 to 78. That nigga rocked Sugar Ray Leonard, who was a always who was always bigger than him from his amateur career into his pro career. So that shit really don't matter. Roberto Duran was dropped, not big ass. Iran Barkley, who one of my big bros. Iran Barkley was one of the biggest middleweights I ever seen in my fucking life, man. No, th- Roberto no, no. Duran knocked him down. So that got nothing to do with. But somebody small that they can't hurt you. That's not true at all. No, that's not about size. It's about tug. Tug doesn't crack like no damn Roberto Durant. Little hand, no, like the yeah, hand. Yeah, but 
Forget it. Not, not it's easy for, 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 for you to say that because you ain't been in the ring with him. No, I, I, no, and I, 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 listen, I understand that it it's, it's easy very, for you to say that. So <laughs> I'm never going to take that perspective. And no, no, I've been I, a fighter. You don't, no, no, don't I, work I, like I, that. Y'all, that. Y'all can put those shits in y'all mind all y'all want to, but it don't work like that. But bro, I understand exactly what it you're saying. Like I, I, it don't work like that. Don't work like that. He can say that because he was in there with him. Yeah, no, he know everybody else he fought. He know everybody else he fought, and he know Tug. He know what he felt. Bro, that that's don't apply. That should do not apply. I understand what you're saying, but you're, you're, I think you're not um, understanding what I mean by what I'm saying. I mean that when it comes to whether, what, when it comes to Tug's punching power, I think there's guys at 130 that hit harder than Tug. That's my point. If Tug is the guy that's cracking you, what happens when you get in there with Valdez's and the Burchelts and stuff and people who can real could really crack and are really 130 pounders? That was my point. Well, we're going to see, but you can't say that just because you, you make an assumption because they're considered, or he's not considered a big puncher. It don't work like that, man. No, I'm not even work like about, that. That, that. That's not even what I'm saying. I'm just saying the tug, like, yeah, like Roberto Durant, like, come on, bro. Like, that's that's putting it. He didn't go down. Even with that, even with that, Durant was not considered the same puncher at welterweight that he was at lightweight. Nah, nah. I mean, and I don't think he's going to be the same puncher. I mean, it, maybe he'll, so, he'll be, maybe he'll be a hell of a guy at one thirty. Like maybe he'll be, like he can be in there if prepared for it. We that's his natural weight. But but I'm just saying there's guys there that are some proven bangers already. So that to me is a, a is kind of a concern. Like not me. Why? Because the guy who fought before that was a pure puncher. The one he knocked out, and he was sure dumb shits. And homeboy was a straight puncher. Money could crack. That's what I'm saying. Don't don't fall for that shit. Uh, uh, he, was in there with a, he was in there with somebody a natural weight who was a knockout puncher, and he and he took them shits. So that tells you that don't fall for that. Check this out though. I just just on 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 making the opinion. You knowing Polly Malinaji, you knowing how tough he is. Mm hmm But knowing he he had some skills. But if a fighter and was trying to get to the upper echelon, and right now we were we were looking at him to be part of the next class of elite boxers, and he said that Polly Malinaji was the hardest hit motherfucker he ever been against. How would that make you feel if you thought, damn, I gotta put him in here with Tank? Damn, I gotta put him in here with everybody else. You um well, you said you know, look, man, let me tell you something. Month when them guys is fighting. And she, when they fight, and especially when right after a fight, a tough fight, that motherfucker thought that they were going to go in there and knock that person out, they liable to say any goddamn thing. That's what I'm telling you. Don't buy into that okay. shit. Okay. Don't buy into that shit, especially when you just saw him fight a guy hard-hitting motherfucker yeah. the fight before that. So don't... Point after the fight, point of after view. a fight, a fight of mine be all over the damn place. Gotcha. From that point of view, it's understandable. I, 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 I done had a yeah. couple tough fights in my life, and shit, yeah. I yeah, me and that motherfucker were fighting like a motherfucker. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, like I said, that's that's what they be talking. You know, don't even buy in, in, into all that shit. You know, mm -hmm. like that. They look after, especially after a fight. A fighter liable to say any goddamn thing. And shit. Yeah. Shit, adrenaline, your emotions all over the goddamn place, depending well, on I how mean, tough that was. It, it, listen, it could be confirmation bias, but I also saw Tug crack that boy hard a couple times. So it made sense to me that he said that. So what I thought, that was that was um he was getting touched up kind of nice. I'm not saying that it's a conclusive thing because I'm not saying that Tug can't punch. I'm just saying, and maybe that Tug is better at 130. All that I'm just saying yeah. that it creates a question for me. Yep. Well, I say this. Saying? I'll say this because I was. I'm be honest with you. I'm be honest with you. I was like when they switched the fight from um what's his name from um Cuba. I was like, shit, he fighting a tougher opponent now. Yeah. Shit, that, that he fighting a tougher opponent now. Shit, that shit was no downgrade. Hey, like, he yeah. a... quick, quick question. Have any of y'all talked to Sheldon? I keep seeing everybody in the chat. Yeah, like, where was Sheldon? Man, I've been calling that nigga for the last two, three weeks, boy. I ain't heard nothing. Yeah, man, I, I called yeah, him, too. I, yeah, I've been thinking about him, too, man. Like, damn, what's up? Yeah, send him a couple texts, man. I hope everything all right with him, you know. Yeah, I'm like, I, I was thinking this. the same thing earlier today. Like, damn, I heard my man from show. You ain't heard from Shelton in a couple of days. Hey, who in LA? Because I mean, Suicide Examiner is in LA. I'm gonna try to see if we could 
find his marriage license. Yeah, what's up with Tank too? I haven't seen Tank either in a couple of days. No, nah, he was in he was in, uh, was in the uh, barbershop earlier. Tank in the chat. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. Tank, Tank okay. be around, man. Tank be around. Okay. Yeah, Tank right yeah. here. Oh, I normally see him in the chats and shit. I ain't even seen him in the chat. He he go. He Cause great. I look for him. Right oh, there, there you go. Okay, yeah, because yeah. I have been looking for him in the chat too. Oh, okay. I'm gonna tell y'all niggas. I'm gonna tell niggas right now. Wednesday is not gonna be a. Uh, it's gonna be a live show for y'all, but not for us. Uh, mm -hmm. Me and me and Sweet Science Examiner uh, have came to the conclusion that we're gonna have to uh, do the show. Yeah. Uh, earlier and pre-record it, and then talk to y'all niggas in the chat. Mm -hmm. Oh damn, man. <laughs> Dang, what's going on? <laughs> the Mark Nash effect, man. Mark mess y'all up, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was But no, not, oh, not just on, him. Man. It wasn't just him, though, because uh, a lot of us is fucking up. But the thing about it is, it's, it's easier because we can pause the show and we can talk. Because there's a lot of dead spots while we was, like, recording yeah. shit and getting everything queued up and shit like that. So, um, yeah, but Mark Nash is a, a very vital part of the show, man. You know, he the whole reason why we even know how to do that, half the shit we do. No, Mark, Mark, good people. I'm just, I'm just food. So, so what we're going to do, we're not going to talk about the, we're not going to um, have a panel for the show or what? Well, you're going to be able to watch like, it. Talking about it. So, so what we going to, you know how well, I did one of those you know premieres, do? right? Yeah. It's like, you know how niggas do the premiere of their shows and shit. Yeah. They can, be, they can be in the chat with you and talk live in the chat with you, but the show just gonna be playing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Bob, that, um, I'm up, man. Um, that was great. Uh, Rewatching the fight and chopping it up with you, you brothers. Um, piece of the panel, piece of the chat. Uh, to the next time. Hope Tuesday. You out there. Get the smoke. Get the smoke. Yeah. Tuesday, we break it down in another fight. All right, good brother. Travel safely. Yeah, peace out. All right, yeah, bro. Thank good you. habit of taking care of them babies. Yeah, no. All right. So listen, man. Uh, like, like, like I say, uh, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. It's time for me to go. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's damn near two o'clock in the morning, man. You know what I mean? Niggas gotta be up in the morning and shit like that. Uh, but man, this shit was good. Um. Y'all any last thoughts? Four where I'm at. Y'all keep the shit going. Where I'm at. Yeah, y'all keep it going. I gotta work. I gotta, I gotta work late tonight, so that's why I was able to stay on. Yeah, shit, I'm going to go get my left right now to go run here. I'm just, I'm just yeah, I'm on the road now, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm rolling now, so right, appreciate yes, it, bro. bro. Uh, I'll check in with you guys later. Uh, I'll be in the chat uh, tomorrow and all that, and I'll get with you guys later, though. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Have a safe, bro. What's up, man? You know what I'm saying? The team players meet. Thank y'all for breaking bread with me. In the words of the great philosopher, Lil E, I want y'all to breathe air and live life. We we'll appreciate everybody that uh, to the cash apps, everybody that came through, man, uh, in the chat. Appreciate y'all 100%, man. We're going to do this shit tomorrow. Tomorrow night, we're going to have Fred in the section. So we're going to have a great show that night. Uh, we're going to chop it up with Fred about his uh, upcoming movie. And uh, we're going to go from there. So uh, we'll, we'll see y'all niggas tomorrow, man. Hasta mañana. No doubt. All right, bro. Stay All right, safe. Bro. Thank you. Play the song. Uh, Play the song, Kyle. Nah, nigga, can I get Play the song, the Kyle? He let the beats be a bitch. And we never switch. Even if I'm rich, I'll be broke like a Mitch. Niggas talking down, but that's headed in the wrong direction. But I knock the shit out like the boxing section. Cause they can't touch what they can't see. All I gotta do is be the same me. All I gotta do is keep it cheap. Always be the same me. Well, I'm solid, boy, they can't change me. No. All right, y'all, we out, man. Peace. Peace. Peace, peace.